So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mask code this side. And today we will be solving another problem of the day. Let's continue the series. And today's problem is continue all possible path. Okay, so let's see what does the problem say. Okay, so the problem says that you have been given a graph. And to be precise, you have been given a connected graph. Okay, and the output is you have to return true if it is possible to reach a node back that is if i'm starting from one i have to reach one back after traversing all other nodes all okay all other nodes at least once at least once means you should be traversing them at least one at least once is greater than equals to one and all the edges exactly once all the edges exactly once Okay, exactly one is equals to equals to one, not greater than that, not less than that. Okay, if this condition is true for each node, then return true, otherwise return false. Okay, so I think you have been uh, familiar with the input and output uh, before and only. Also, the graph is not given in the form of adjacency list, it has been given in the form of adjacency matrix. So, before proceeding, let us see what is the adjacency list and what is the adjacency matrix. So adjacency list is suppose I have a graph. 1 connected to 2, 2 connected to 3, 3 connected to 4, 4 connected to, oh sorry, 1 connected to 5, 5 connected to 6, and just say 4 connected to 5, okay, this is my graph. So the adjacency list of this will be uh, something like, uh, corresponding to 1, 1 is connected to 2 and 5, so it will be containing 2 and 5. I am mentioning it, in, uh, it for adjacency list, okay. 1 connected to 2 and 5, so 2 and 5. For 2, it will be 1 and 3. For 3, it will be 2 and 4. Now, pause the video and draw the math uh, adjacency list for the rest of them and then check. Proceeding further, for 4, it would be something like 3 and 5. For 5, it would be like 1, 4, and 6. And for 6, it would be like 5. Okay, so this, is, this is the adjacency list of an undirected graph. Okay. Now let's talk about the adjacency matrix. All right, so adjacency matrix would look something like um, you have been given a graph of say six. Let us say we have an, one base indexing, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six with one, two, three, four. Let us, yeah, five, six. So if I'm starting to fill it, I see there's a connection between one and five. So one with five, one, and five with one, one. Okay. Now five with one and two, sorry. So one and two, one, two and one, one. Two and three, right? So two and three will become one. Three with two will become uh, three with two will become one, right? Three and four. So three with 4 will, equal, will become 1 and 4 with 3 will become 1 and 4 with 5 so 4 with 5 will become 1 and 5 with 4 will become 1 and 5 and 6 so 5 with 6 and 6 with 5 and 1 and 5 I have already done I think uh, yeah I have covered all the edges I think and rest of the, all, all of them are 0 0 0 0 0 0 0, 0, 0, 0. And fill up all. Okay, this is the adjacency matrix. Both of them are actually same. They are representing the same graph. They are just different forms of representation. They are just different forms of representation. In today's problem, it we have been given the graph in the form of adjacency matrix. But in ninety nine percent of problems, the graph will be given to you in the form of adjacency list. Today it has been given in the form of matrix because our, our approach will be easily derived from the uh, way of matrix. How? So our, uh, our goal is to determine whether it is possible to reach a node back after covering all the nodes and traversing all the edges once. Okay, we have to cover all the nodes. Cover all the nodes, right? And each edge once. Each edge once so when you see of that that you have to come back you have to come back you have to come back doesn't it remind you of a cycle 
right it reminds you of a cycle so that is what you will be doing you will make the simplest case the simplest case for today's problem to return true is it is a cycle okay a cycle a cycle of form this right so if i'm starting with any node if i'm starting say this node right i can go here then 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 here and then back here and you will see that all the edges are covered once only and all the vertices are covered once right and we have to cover all the nodes at least once right now this is true for all the nodes in the cycle right but what if i make a complication because the complicated cases are what we have to handle right so complication is I attach one node, uh, let's say two nodes here. All right. And other way, I attach one node here. I make a triangle. Okay. So now, is it possible to reach, uh, to cover all the, uh, both this condition? Uh, let's say we start from this node. Okay. So if I were starting at this node, I will go to here. From here, I will go here. This edge has, been, edge has been covered. This edge has been covered. I go. I went here. Now from here I will went here. This edge, edge has uh, edge has been covered once. This what is covered. Come here. This edge has been covered. This what is once. Now you will say that this vertex was already covered. But I will say that we can cover vertices greater than equals to one. Only edge has to be covered once, right? So it is not a problem. From here I will go here. From here I will I will go here. From here I will go here. This edge has been covered right from here i will go here this edge has been covered right now this has two cases either it can go to this node once again or it can move okay if he went here if if this node goes this side and covers this node this has, has, has been covered but to cover the rest of the remaining edges and to go back to this starting node it has not remained with any option right it has not remained with any option so if as a lifesaver, there was a node, something like this, right? Something like this. It would go here, cover this, correct? And after covering this, again, the same problem arises. Again, the same problem arises that it can go here or here. If it, it will go here, this edge will be covered, but it will be impossible to go back here, right? So we have been situation in a dilemma, right? Let us take another example. Suppose these are my nodes. Uh, currently it was one node. Now it is two nodes, correct? So when it is two nodes, if I'm uh, able to get back here, starting from here, then I, it is true for all of them, right? So if I'm, let's say I'm here, I went here, I went here, I went here, I went here. Again, a problem arises. I can go here or here. If I'm going here, again, not possible, right? Again, not possible because I don't think there is a reason of because it is pretty evident, right? If I'm going here, then it will become impossible for me to get out of this loop. And because I have to cover the edge only once, I will have to cover the edge twice to get out of this loop, right? Similarly, if there is only one node here, right? So if I'm going here, then here, right? Again, same dilemma. But if I'm skipping it, I'm going here, correct? If I'm going here, then this node will be skipped. And we will not be able to cover all the nodes, correct? I think that you are getting my point where I'm going to drive you. But if you're getting a little hodgepodge, play the video once again. Uh, refresh back to the uh, area where you were lost. Because this is a pretty simple problem. But I will say that this is not a DSA problem. This is a competitive programming problem. I would say it is of level problem B of TIFF2. Yeah, because in the problems of competitive programming, you have to think this, this way, right? So let us draw the cases we drew before. So if it was something like three nodes attached to this or one node then here, right? It was running fine for them because some one two three four five six out of the loop correct here also if node is here node is here one two three 
four out of the loop, right? But when it was something like this, two nodes connected through a ring, and a node here and a node here, right? Starting from here, done, 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 done. Sorry, done, done. This remained, right? Similarly for this one. Let us say if we have three nodes here. Like two, three, four, right? Starting from here, 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 then here. This node remained and these two edges remain, right? So when is the problem arising? If you focus, now here comes the part of competitive programming experience. If you focus, this node was not in a dilemma. This node was working fine. Now the number of connections of this node is one, two, three, four. Number of connections of this node is one, two, three, and this one four, right? Number of connection of this node is one, two, three. Number of connection of this node is one, two, three. Number of connection of this node is one, two, three. Number of connection of this node is one, two, three. So are you able to get my point? I'm saying whenever I encounter even connections, even number of connections, the code is running fine. It is it is possible to reach back. But whenever I encounter odd number of connections for any node, odd number of connections for any node, then the situation fails. I think that you will you will be thinking that I'm making a tall claim, but I would like you to practice make any number of cases, any number of cases, any number of example cases to test whether it is a true approach or not. And at the end, you will find that I was saying correct, but it is still important for you to test it out, right? Get your doubts clear. So what have we observed that? We want even number of connections for each number, each node and not the odd number. Okay. Now I said that this question was given in the form of adjacency matrix and this was done so to facilitate a task what task i for each node i will traverse it through i will find the number of connections if the number of connections is divisible by two in that case it turned true else it turned false this is my simplest algorithm for this problem and i have thought of my maximum this problem cannot be solved through any other method if someone finds it please comment it down not for your knowledge but for my knowledge also because we have to prosper uh, together right so this is this was all from my side for the explanation part and let us move down to the code now i would really like you guys to code it down on yourself because this problem does not require any much superior coding skills it was just the algorithm you have to think of and because it does not require coding skills and the algorithm is only tough, that is why it is mentioned as a medium problem. Otherwise, it was definitely a part of hard problem. The algorithm you have to think as a DSA specialist is something, uh, what do we say, extraordinary, okay? So the size of our matrix is n paths dot size, right? What do I do? I run a loop for int i going from zero, i less than n, i plus plus. I make a count as zero. Now for int i, for int j, sorry, nested loop concept j less than n, j plus plus. If paths i j equals to equals to one, that is a connection is present there, then count plus plus simple number of connections for that. Now if after the loop, if count percentile two is equals to equals to zero, then that means sorry is equals to equals to one okay then that means odd number of connection in that case return false right if the situation runs fine for every uh, node then return true this was all from my side for today and i hope you liked the video i hope you were able to understand the concept right let's try to compile and run it and if you were able to uh, understand the concept then please 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 do engage with me in the comment section there has been an error somewhere I have uh, mentioned counts. It has it says count here, okay? So please subscribe to my channel because it brings a lot of, lot of motivation for me. Running fine for compiler, let's try it for submit also. And that was all from my side today. So we have, can see that we have completed 62 days streak and this was all happening because of your love. So please keep watching and subscribe to my channel. 
press the bell icon for more such crazy content and see you tomorrow with a new problem have a nice day